All right, let's talk about isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangles are triangles that have at least two sides that are the same. And really, if you have a triangle that has two sides of the same, it is considered isosceles, but you could have an isosceles triangle where all three sides are equal. However, since that also qualifies as an equilateral triangle, we don't usually bother referring to a, a triangle that has all three sides the same as isosceles. Technically it is, we just don't bother calling it that. Um, because an isosceles triangle has two sides that are the same, there are a number of things about it that are, that are important and are identifiable. First of all, if two sides are the same, then the two angles that face those two sides are also the same. So our two base angles are identical in an isosceles triangle. And also, because these two sides are the same, this angle up here at the top, the vertex, if you were to take a line that split that vertex in half, right down to the middle of the triangle, then that same line would split the base in half as well. It ends up being the midpoint of your base and the angle bisector at the vertex of your triangle up here, your top vertex. Let's see if I have a better picture here. I thought I brought one. Yeah, here we go. So here's a sort of a straighter picture of your triangle. So if we take a look at the three angles, E, D, and F. Angles D and F we can see have been marked as uh, congruent down here on the bottom left and the bottom right, right here and right here. And because those are congruent, we know that the opposite sides up here and up here are congruent. And a line that bisects the top angle here will also bisect the bottom of the triangle line side down here, side G. So that means that this section from D to G is congruent with the section from G to F. And this bottom line, when it, where it meets the bottom of the, the base of the triangle, it meets it at 90 degrees, so it ends up being perpendicular. And that means that this line down here is a perpendicular bisector of the top angle and of the bottom of the triangle, the base of the triangle. So you can see there's a number of sort of special things about an isosceles triangle that are all sort of factors of the fact that these two sides, the left and right sides, uh, based on the way we have it set up here, are identical. Um, there are a number of other things that sort of stem from that. Let's take a look at how these uh, these identifiers of an isosceles triangle work for the example questions. If you scroll on down to the bottom of the page here, you'll see the next video where we go through these example questions one at a time.